police say most of these burglars are similar. Burglaries are similar. Someone kicks in the back door, steals a bag from the house, fills it with loot, and then gets away. Now, so far, Nunez has only been charged with five burglaries, but police say it's still too early to know for sure if he's involved with the other 30 to 50. We're covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you, Nancy. And police haven't recovered a lot of the stolen property, saying much of it was already sold or traded. The case against a Lexington man accused of gunning down his wife and a Lexington firefighter is set to move forward in court. After nearly a year spent getting mental treatment at a Louisville hospital, Patrick Hutchinson's case is set to go before the court again Monday. Hutchinson's last court appearance was last November. The doctor's diagnosis, paranoid schizophrenia. At the time, the judge made a decision to dismiss charges that Hutchinson shot his wife, Fontaine, and Lexington firefighter, Lieutenant Brenda Cowan, to death while he got treatment. Those fatal shootings happened February 2004 on Lexington's Adams Lane, and those charges could be reinstated. Investigators in Marshall County are looking into a fatal fall involving a man in a wheelchair. Investigators say David Ritchie apparently died of suffocation when his wheelchair flipped on top of him, crushing his lungs. The 24-year-old died outside Oakview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Ritchie suffered from muscle